we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. It's time for more Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Donna. With me, your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. We are going after the bats in and out of the Belfry. Taking them down, making them look a silly, silly, silly times. Um, oh, 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 okay, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Apparently, if I do not hit these things correctly, really bad ju stop it, really bad Juju Magumbo is going to unfold. I'm not even sure what just happened to me. Was it the? It was the bat. Alright, we took care of the bat. So if we don't hit it with like a. S oh god. Switch. If we don't hit it with like a super good uh, thing, we're gonna be struggling a little bit. We are not doing much damage to this. Oh, okay. I, mean, I did just see him do that. I should have been aware. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of whatever that is that he's doing there. We did manage to knock him on his butt briefly. But, unfortunately, it's about where our advantage has stopped. Oh. I figured he would stop spinning by then. My goodness, this guy takes forever to defeat the Mata McGuff. He is level 74. And he doesn't care who knows him. He's almost broken his armor again. Put him on his butt. I think we're about to do that right now. There it is. Oh, yep. Finally broke him. Now we can actually do real damage to him. I don't know why that took so much for us to break him, but it did. It took a lot. Alright, cool. Finally make it over to the che treasure chest. Again, all this stuff is much higher level than we are. We're only level 5960 on the vast majority of the people. We should probably not be here. All told. This does seem a ow. Does seem a little silly. Like I said, if we can time it right, those guys are pretty easy to deal with. My turn now. Ow. Yep, that's that's what I was hoping I would do. I'm like, I feel like I'm just gonna switch and immediately die. That's exactly what happened. Like, I hope I have at least a second or two to get out of the. Nope. My turn now. Well, these guys aren't that bad. I mean, they're they're kind of hard to to deal with. <sighs> if you can dodge their stuff, super easy. If you can't, not as easy. They die real quick, too. Alright. Again, avoid a couple of attacks and everything is fine. I think we should get out of here. I don't think we're ready for this just yet. I want to get the treasure chest, though, so I will do that. Oh, we got the pure aura calcum. Uh... Okay. Which was something that we were trying to get all along, I guess, for her? I could have sworn that was a quest or a thing they wanted. Well, either way, we're heading back to town. Oh, sweet, sweet town. Let's go up and talk to you. You want a pure aura calcum? I got you some. Man, this stuff is amazing. Just look how it shines. This is a pure aura, cal aura calcum, all right? Exactly what I needed. I'm impressed you found so much. Really, I can't thank you enough. Better get to work right away. Still, I can't afford to do a rush job, not when the ultimate armor is on the line. Also, I need to know before I start whether this armor is for a man or a woman. 
So what's it going to be, Adol? Man or a woman? For a man, unfortunately. I, I got I got to stick with Adol. Like, uh, again, Donna's super awesome. Really, really, really like her. In fact, I prefer her combat style and just about everything about her. But, you know, you got to go with the main protagonist of the story uh, and the series as a whole. So, you know, you can have brief ventures with Donna and some of the other crew, but in, in the end, it all comes down to the red-haired swordsman, Adol Kristen. Started right away. Maybe the armor will help me not die in one hit. No guarantees. It's finally finished. Armor I smithed from scratch using pure aura calcum. Here, it's yours now. Bum, dum, bum, dum, bum, bum, dum, bum, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. The shining Kronos. That just sounds amazing. You actually did it. That's a cool name. Yes, it was very challenging, but I managed to pull it off. <laughs> I honestly think I'm more surprised by this than you are. With this, I feel like my skill is a little closer to my grandfather's now. I feel like it might be higher. I might have told you this already, but my last name is a Lambert. My family is known as Master Blacksmiths who make weapons for the Roman Empire Emperor himself. But my grandfather was the most skilled in the whole family. My parents died when I was young, so he ended up raising me and becoming my role model. Even in my earliest memories, I'm still gripping a hammer. <sighs> it was tough living, to be sure, but he ended up accept accepting me as his successor. Even so, no matter how many swords I smithed, it always felt like there was something missing. I couldn't figure out what it was, I just knew it bugged the heck out of me. Only now, having smithed this oracalcum armor, do I realize what was missing. The reason why I'll never be like my grandfather. All my life, I've just been mimicking his techniques. It's obvious in hindsight, but I was missing something essential. I never answered the question, what do I want to do? From now on, I'm going to work hard to find the answers to that question. <laughs> that being said, I think I'm on the cusp of finding it. I'll support you all the way. I believe in you. I hope I make you proud then. Strange, hearing you say that makes me feel like I really can do this. <laughs> I didn't mean to keep you here this long. Anyway, if you bring the materials, I can make as many sets of armor as you need. Come see me when you find more Aura Calcum. Oh, that's cool. Yes! Great job! Sweet. Can now forge Aura Calcum armor. Okay. Well, if you'll excuse me, my gladiator armor is going to be replaced with the shining, the shining Chronos. Gives me 10% crit, 200 HP, 237 defense. I lose 20 strength, but I think that's fine. I mean, that's pretty darn epic. And with you, four hundred. I guess we'll just give you my old armor, the gladiator armor. Seven increased strength, forty-six defense. Cool. Talk to me, girl. Hey, Adol, got a minute? Of course, for you, anything. Got to hand it to you, Adol. Your swordsmanship has come a long way since you washed up on this island. Well, you know, sometimes. Eh, I'm just getting warmed up. I have you to thank for that. Yes. Huh. Feels sort of nice to be complimented by a swordsman of your caliber. I keep asking myself, what do I want to do so I can one day step out of my grandfather's shadow? I told you earlier that I didn't have an answer yet. Uh-huh. But after watching you... I think I finally figured it You're out. You're going to become an epic swordsman, too? I want to forge weapons for people like you, Adol. People who cut paths of hope for us all. That's the passion I feel within me. Looking back, I think I've had that passion my whole life. It's possible. I know it sounds really simple when I say it. But my experiences on this island have helped me understand what that passion actually means. Well, I'm glad I could help you. 
I'm happy to hear that. Someday I will make a name for myself as a Lambert on my own terms. Well, oh, you're not Lambert. At last, right. I understand. I can carry out my own will. That's what my grandfather wanted for me. Knowing that at all, I want you to do something for me. Okay. Someday, perhaps during your next adventure, if you happen to find yourself in wrong, I want you to visit the Lambert Forge. Sure. I'll personally forge the sword that best represents the man you've become. I'll definitely pay you a visit. I look forward to that day. Yes. As do I. Until then, I promise to work hard and become an even better blacksmith than I am now. Sweet. Well, there we go. Now, I'll, I also need you to do some other How stuff can I here. Help you today? All right, is my Hyperion blade maxed out? It is not, but it will be soon. I'll get started. You give me a All nine right, piece finished. increase in strength. Uh, Heaven's Thunder, the Curious Blade. I feel Leave like I need me. her stuff to be stronger. She feels All like right, she's the, the weakest link right now. Leave it to me. She shouldn't be. But she just feels Ooh, underwhelming. It's complete. Leave it to me. Alright, so with our top three people, right, we're short one chunk of stuff to get our Merc Mercurius blade maxed out. But other than that, all of our top people are maxed out. I guess Donna could get one more upgrade. If we got a Dragon Crest stone. Is that it? But I mean, I'm here for it. Alright, so we found some Oracalcum of the pure variety. Got that. Uh, dragon. Tr oh, okay. You want some treasures? We got those. We got Kathy. Hey, buddy. Here's your fermented sap, also. Your wine thing that you wanted. Tell me you actually found it. I did. Oh, thank you. Now we can have a proper ceremonial ship launching. Oh, you're going to give me the treasures. Gotcha. Get everything I need. I uh, just need to get everything ready. At all, go and tell the others, would you? Sure. Er, buddy, we're about to launch a ship. Even if we're not ready to leave yet. And so a ceremonial ship launching was held at Castaway Village. Everyone was so excited to participate, the launch went off without a hitch. I guess Adol said some words. Everybody's just standing around miming stuff. Oh, is Laxia going to be the one who does it? Oh, it was. Okay. Except we're not in the water yet. That might be a problem. With the pouring of fermented sap on the ship's hull, the launch was complete. What, do we just drop kick it into the water? How'd we do that? You know what, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Whoa! A ship, finally. <laughs> this isn't a dream, is it? We're really gonna leave soon? Yeah, soonish. Yes, we just gotta tough this out a little while longer. I feel like I can work even harder now. Same here, this whole thing is me feeling reinvigorated. <laughs> yeah, we're almost out of here. Let's keep our heads high, everyone. Yeah! Ah, oh, that went really well. We're finally here. This is a critical moment. Yeah, you're right. We have to hold fast, or this will all be for nothing. We'll definitely make it through this. Thank you very much for your help, Adol. Finally fulfilled my duty as a member of the Lombardius crew. I'm sure it won't be long now. Please keep watching over us, Captain. Yeah. Okay. We did it. Sweet. Okay. Anything else to say to me? Uh, working the ship properly outfitted. The sail needs to be adjusted, deck stocked, and I still have to build the proper storehouse. Yep, once this is done, uh, we'll be ready to set sail at any point. It was depending on me, so I can't let them down. Dogs, what's up, man? Trying to discover something? Uh, so much somethings. 
What? The, the Lacrimosa? We're going to be, like, erased? Jeez, partner. Why do you get caught up in this sort of stuff all the time? Ah, whatever. We'll do our best to overcome it. You should get going, and you better not lose. Oh, wait, hold on. Can we fortify more? Tell me anything. No, I don't think we're, I don't think we're at that stage yet. Are there any more uh, hunts? Nope. Excellent. All right. Let's go restock. Ah, I did find the defense. Yay. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's brew some stuffs. We got five, we got three, we got one. There you go. One more. I should get the uh, impetuous water taken care of. Please so I have an extra empty bottle. For more healing as I inevitably get my face stomped into the earth. Alright, let's do a double check on the journal real quick. 100% on the locations. Okay. Uh, where is he? Gotta go find him. Gotta talk to the butler again, too. Oh, he's usually out there. Oh, and I fell down. I meant to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait. He, I bet he's in here at the table with uh, so-and-so. Yep. Hey, man. Oh. I did. I discovered all the location points. Should I do the map? Mm, such wonders you've discovered. My undying gratitude for your efforts, sir. This is splendid. You truly live up to the title of adventurer. And once I've gazed upon these wonders myself, I can paint the loveliest of abstract paintings. Inspirational, perhaps a poem instead. What's that, then? Well, why don't I simply paint the landscapes? Hmm, you simply don't understand high art. You're true. That's true, I don't. What point would it serve to merely attempt to recreate what already exists? Art is about creativity, innovation, and innovation. Ah, never, never you mind. Get me started, and indeed, I may never stop. Best I not get into it. Now, as to the matter of recompense uh, for your hard work, sir. I did recently happen across something which might be worthy of note. It may look like merely like an old book, but I suspect it may be of some use to you. The Power Formula! <laughs> cool. Now then, sh sh we shall meet again. Safe journeys. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I guess we're going back to our buddy over here. Yep, I, I did. New formula. Cool. Do you want to talk to me about anything? Our supplies of herbs is dwindling, that's okay, I can make do with what we have. Uh, leave it to me, be waiting for the good news. Alright, not really much to say there, I want to go up, I think I got a new fish for uh, our fish boy, slash girl, uh, shoe bill. Thank you very much at all, I will redouble my efforts to handle any issues arise with uh, my lady. Uh -huh. Yep, cool, 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 cool. Alright, still haven't found the pumpkin seeds. D did I actually find any pumpkin? Listen, there's a limit to how much farm can produce. Possibly feed everyone in the village. Yes, I understand. I'll try my best. Well, that's a couple days. Hurry. Okay, can't even talk to him about anything. Peppers are growing. Give me some of them there, peps. Harvest eggplants. Tomato. Excellanto. Alright, cool. So we did all that. Very good. Very good. Shubes. Yeah, yeah. Shoes. I did get you a king salmon before. All right, what is this stuff? Cola chanth gulp. Yeah, I've been enough. What's a different fish? All right. Well, it's on my to-do list. Oh, Sir Carlin's out here. Rest in peace, Captain Barbaros. This is not the end I would have predicted he would meet. He was an impertinent sort, but his last words of advice were sound enough. And I will admit that he was diligent in fulfilling his duties. I must ask, however, why isn't there a grave for me? I demand an explanation. There was no body to bury. We believed you had survived. Yes, of course, as I thought. <laughs> this truly shows your devotion to me. There was no body to bury. It was definitely the right answer, 
But I felt like, you know, his ego couldn't take that hit. He could not have handled himself there. Alright. So we've really done tremendous amounts of, of work here. Alright, we're going to try to go find our... Our guy, I guess. It's back this way. I don't know where it says that. Where? I think I just have to keep backtracking. All right, Rakota, it's time for you to do your running thing, girl. Time for you to do your running thing. Flash move past everything. Run at a ridiculous pace. And what are we looking at here? This is the one. Alright. Hey! Oh, somebody's there. Ow. Oh boy. I see our ape friend. Alright, so this is a way through, and then we come back and we deal with everything. My turn now. Hold on. Sorry. What was that? Oh, just one of those guys just chilling there, huh? Eh. Alright, kind of obliterating things now. It feels good. He does not. Oh. Still can't dodge it. Despite my best efforts. I dodged it this time. And by dodged it, I mean I was too far away for him to hit me. Oh, that, was good. that was a good jump, man. Yeah, Rakota's level 60 now, like the rest of us. Excellent. Alright, dude, are you done being being rude? And keep claiming that we're the ones that are rude? Alright, you're last, red hair. Alright, let's do this thing. Here you go. Alright, what skill are you gonna bring to, to bear to me? You know I'm all about that booty whoopage. Can you just do a jumping, like, a uh, dragon punch? No. You know, it's fine. Wow. Get up. Seriously? My guy does not know how to do There we go. Like, does he just not know how to dodge anymore? I'm, I'm very confused. Pretty big hits here. It's basically over, my friend. Okay. Second shot got me for sure. First one, I'm fairly certain I dodged. He's almost done. I, I've literally dodged zero of his attacks so far. No, I, I dodged one. I forgot. I did dodge one of his attacks. But he basically just beat me up the whole time. It's fine. I guess as you get further into the game, your skills just turn to garbage and you can't dodge any... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Seems the match is over. At all, try out Master's skill. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna switch. I know what I'm switching out for that. The Brave Charge. Alright, thank you, sir. Thank you for teaching me. 
I didn't teach you. You learned it on your own. <laughs> I'm sure he's just being modest. <laughs> no kidding. It seems the six of us each have learned a skill from him. Hmm, what's wrong, Master? I have nothing left to teach you. But Rakota's mentor tells me that your village is in a lot of uh, trouble a lot. If you want, I can help you. Really, Master? Help us? Does that mean you'll join us during the beast raids? Ah, oh, that'd be great. Yes, you're more than qualified. Don't you agree, Adol? Hmm. That it's settled. I'll head to your village now. You make Doki look like a scared little girl. <laughs> He's offered to help us more than I ever expected. One, indeed, one master is worth a hundred, no, a thousand warriors. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Kong. What? He is now maxed out with his... Oh, that's good. All right, let's switch out our skill now. All right, so I've been underwhelmed by a couple of things here. Like the Aura Blast specifically seems like garbage. So let's get rid of that. It might be pretty... Nope. I say it might be pretty good, but it's it's not. What was Aura? It was Aura Blast, right? Or Aura Blade, excuse me. Yeah, no, this is definitely better. Alright, so now we do this. Much better. Alright, I like it. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Let's just look around the map real quick, see if there's anything that we're still missing. I think we got all the treasures that we've come across so far. Even there. Apparently we can't go to the Temple of the Great Tree. The depths we can't go to. I still need to switch back over to Donna, I want to say, and go to her little, her little thing there. I am pretty certain that we didn't finish up over here. Something about the Island of the Solitude? Oh, we didn't go into this place, did we? No. Alright, let's go take a peek in here then. I, I say, I assume it's not super big. Smaller than I thought. A monolith fragment. What will I do with a monolith fragment? Fragment of, of the broken monolith. Where's that go? Well, I'll rack my brain trying to figure it out, I guess. But, um... One final fishing before we head out. It's weird that this is back. I'm pretty sure I got this already. But we'll take a look. It's going to be another prismatic jewel, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. Mash the button! Alright, give me my the prismatic jewel. Big pearl obtain. Very nice. Some more oh yeah, some more big fish. That's right. We we got uh, kind of short change when we were fishing last time. I forgot about that. We pulled in a, a monster. And then it got cancelled somehow. Because we detected the thing behind us. Smash the buttons! Feels like a big one. I think it was dust and Elysian tail. Oh, we got a well, swordfish or an aqua marina or whatever. Yep. There. Here, hold this. Alright. Tammy is taking away. Alright, let's get the Oh we got a we got a big one. Yeah. Like it definitely does. Uh there we go. This is pretty good. Nope. I already had that. I mean at least we're getting cool stuff with it, the ancient lumber and whatnot. I wanted to continue fighting whatever that creature was that we pulled out last time. I'm, I'm actually kind of annoyed slash sad that we didn't get to. Kind of bums me out a little bit. Alright. So, I think if we go here, we go to journal. Just 
unexplored areas. Yes, this is where it's at. All right, everything is 100%. Wow, we've actually done a really good job. My God. Including all of the resource gathering things, other than the silent tower, which I'm not even sure what that is exactly. But yeah, we're literally at 100% across the board on everything but, I guess, the latest place that we went to. Which is pretty freaking uh, sweet. So we still have some stuff that we need to do over there. And obviously this is where the main story brings us to our next bit. Where was the... Uh, Grave of Ancient Heroes. Oh, it was over here. What was this thing, right? Silent Tower. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? We're just going to break off the episode here, and in the next episode, we'll figure out what we're going to do, whether we're going back to the Silent Tower and just trying to survive long enough there to get our levels up, because again, stuff there is around level 70, 72. We're 60, 61. We got a ways to go before we're up to snuff on that island. Hi, right, folks, till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.